Dear Father, Mother, God, we thank you for allowing us to be channels of light, love, and healing. We ask that all energy that flows through Maria and myself today be grounded in Mother Earth, for she, in fact, is the living healer. We call on our guides and our angels to speak through us now. Thank you, Father, Mother, God, all that is. Happy Easter, Maria. Yes. Hey, it's, uh, yeah. hey it is Easter week, oh, yeah. okay? And uh, what, what, what did you... What, did you celebrate Easter? Was it a big deal when you were in Poland? Yeah, all your kid. Really big. Yeah, you make a basket with all the food, salt, pepper, eggs, bread, a kobasi, ham in a basket, and you take it to a church to be blessed. Oh. In the middle of the table, it set up hay. It was all different names of people who are part of this. And then you come home, everybody takes a little bit from a basket first to share the bread with one another, and then we have a feast. Oh, wow, that sounds cool. <laughs> all I can remember was Easter egg hunts. Of course, I had to have new patent leather shoes and oh, that's Easter store. bonnet. Yeah, yeah, you had yeah. that. Yeah, we had, to get, we had to get all decked out. And of course, you know, I went to church because... I was Catholic, and uh, um, you know, and um, so we all have our little traditions, our little holidays. As we get older, we don't seem to celebrate them as much mm -hmm. anymore. But uh, so, but we have had a terrific week here at the Center for the New Age. Obviously, still spring break, still people uh, uh, traveling. Traveling, yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway. Um, for some reason, Robert wanted us to talk about selenite this morning. Well, because he got this guy. <laughs> it's a weapon. <laughs> Selenite's a very emotional thing. It's been an emotional week for me. Uh, my sister, one, my New Jersey sister, one of my New Jersey sisters surprised me with a visit. And wow. uh, yeah, so I wasn't expecting it. She was in cahoots with Robert on how to surprise me. <laughs> but it was pretty cool because they'd never been here to Arizona. Oh, my and, goodness. And you yeah, haven't seen them in, I don't know, 15, 20 years. Yeah. That's so cool. I yeah, think yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I recognized them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so a lot of family get-togethers. Um, you know, usually when families get together, there can sometimes be friction, you know. And emotions be flying, right? Right. So tell us a little bit about selenite. All right, selenite is the clearing agent of energy. The clearing. Yeah, it's a clearing agent. So when you're talking about friction and emotion, it's nice to have it because we'll clear the energy. We'll also clean the energy of the boundaries. Boundaries. A lot of times people don't know how to have boundaries. So this is wonderful stone. But when you have other stone, it clears, it's a clearing gauges of energy from the other stones also. Mm. If you take, I don't care if it's this or this, and you wrap with your thumb and your fingers, you can actually connect yourself to your past life or to a future and see with clarity. Really? Yes, selenite does that. Really? You, have, you can see your past life. In, especially in meditation, if you get this, sit down and just wrap, and you, you stuff will reveal to you and also give you more clarity Hello. of the future. It's one of the best stones for healing if people have pains. Oh, well, this, you need this today. <laughs> it want to talk to me. <laughs> That's true. I remember. Yes, you I, had this one to right. your thing here yeah. one time. You had a problem. Right, right. I remember I remember one of the guys at the gym was having a problem, and uh, he he's, doesn't believe in any of this stuff. But I said to him, Gary, what do you got to lose? Here, take this, you know. And you, give it, and and you put one yeah. on yourself. You yeah. had that, though. Couple yeah. of, a couple of months ago, I remember, yeah. you put it one of these guys right, right. to yourself. Yeah, and so. Gary Gary became a believer. He said, I don't know but if, he was. if I'm just making this up, but it really helped. What selenine does, a lot of times people might have shoulder or elbow or leg pain. It's, it starts here. This is your meridians that opens the channel to an energy. When this star 
stuck in or, or sometimes the disc may be going low you have to stretch them out a little bit which I do a lot of this kind of physical thing because Gainsky showed me what to do so I've been doing this but this would help open the meridians for the energy to flow and start releasing pains wherever you have like this little ones it's wonderful when people suffer from this kind of I injuries because you have two healing stones. Mm -hmm. You have also fluoride here that is the best healing stone because connects you on a cellular level to your DNA, Re rebuild cells, muscles, bone structures. So you, this is great tools when people suffer any pains. Holding this in your even left hand if you sit for a little while you will start seeing Why are you left hand? Left hand is the receiver. When oh, you okay. see Buddha, he always lift the hand this way because he receiving energy. He's sending energy. So okay. anytime you do any healing or you need to choose anything, you always use your left hand. I always tell people when you need to choose. Heart knows better mm. than the head. Mm. So just by holding this, this will already going to start open up the energies in your spine here. It's very good also for anybody who suffering from epilepsy. Selenide. Epilepsy. Mm -hmm. Selenide is wonderful. Really? Strong I never flow. knew that. So, it's very great for boundaries, emotions that you were talking about, people, because it's a clearing agent of energies, but it's also healing stone on a physical level. We have spheres, we have little, like a soap disc with Buddha. Yeah, and some, these these have yeah. um these are carved carved with, with Buddha. Buddha and and sometimes then you have the chakras. chakras that people put stones actually for the chakras whatever stone you need. So when you rub in, when you sit and let's see if you put all the chakra stones and you rub in, you really open up also all your chakras and also over here, which is wonderful healing place to start. Pyramids. Pyramids have the point. It's a four walls. That brings lots of energy. That's why when people look in lots of time for pyramids, do you have pyramids? Pyramids. Because they understand these walls bring it more energy to it. This is little spiral, natural form. Yeah, these are natural. Yeah. Then we have the points. This one is a little knife. Look at this. It's really cool to work on yourself, you know, and bring in the energy. And of course, this is the weapon that Robert has ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Did you thought I'm gonna have a back problem that I need this sucker? <laughs> no, actually, I saw them, I unpacked them on Monday, so <laughs> I know they were here. That's what selenide is all about. All right, all right. Well, have a very nice holiday if you're celebrating Easter. Uh, and um, if you're not, that's okay too, you know. If you have any aches and pains or emotions that need to be released, we have some selenite for you. You can just call us and we'll, we'll give you prices and send you whatever you need. But whatever, have, have a joyous weekend this time, okay? And uh, celebrate.